movies, huh? Yep, we're at the movies. I just wanted to make a quick video to announce that I'm attending the 2021 Hot Rod Power Tour, at least the first two days where it's traveling through Ohio. Um, the initial goal was to drive the Misfit split on it, but I don't know if I'm, well, first of all, I don't even know if it'll be done for that because it's not in the uh, end of August. I don't know if it'll be ready for that. And two, even if it is ready, it'll be very untested for like a thousand mile road trip where there's a lot of traffic. Probably what will happen is I'll take the Gray Challenger, my daily driver, which if I had a car show locally, I would never take that car to a car show, you know, because it's a six cylinder all wheel drive car. But for a power tour where you're going to be sitting in a lot of traffic and I've never done one before, this will be my first power tour. So I think I want to do it with the Challenger just to get an idea of what's going on. And then once I get this car proven out, the engine's fully broken in, the clutch is broken in, you know, everything's broken in. I have it dialed in, then maybe I'll take it on a power tour. But who knows, maybe I'll get this car together, do some driving locally, and do some longer trips on it before uh, the Hot Rod Power Tour and decide I wanna take it. There's still a possibility of that, but everybody has said, um, if you're doing the Hot Rod Power Tour, make sure you have air conditioning, uh, electric fans, and automatic. And this has none of that. It's a four-speed Muncie. It's gonna have a manual fan, um, but it does have a high flow a water pump and it will have a really big radiator so I don't know how it'll do in traffic but it should be okay and there's definitely no AC on this car so we'll see there's supposed to be a lot of traffic uh, around the hot rod power tour because you take local roads and there can be some traffic jams and I really don't want to have my brand new 327 overheat just because I want to take it on a road trip so I'll I'll see what I'm gonna do so like I said the plan is to take the misfit split if I get dialed in and if I feel comfortable driving the car like a thousand miles. But just to show you the state it's in, to show you how far I have to go to get this thing running and driving and road trippable, this is the current status that I have it. The I'm test fitting all the fiberglass pieces on here. Um, I had to make some tweaks. I had to make some pie cuts and some pieces to get the fit over the birdcage. I had to do some more work to the driver's side rocker. It's just been a matter of taking it apart, putting it together, putting the doors on it, and rinse and repeat, making little tweaks to get it to fit, but it's getting pretty close. I'm waiting for some bonding strips and a firewall, really before I can keep going. Um, I still have to drill some holes through here to, for the uh, solid rivets. There's some holes in that one. Um, but I have to drill holes, test fit it, get everything sucked down so when I have all the parts, I can get it ready to glue together. But this is getting close. The rear clip, just have it sitting on here. Most of the fiberglass work is done to that, but I have it back on the rear suspension. So everything's done in the rear except for shocks. Uh, it needs a little bit of an alignment and it just needs brake lines. But other than that, everything's dialed in. I have the offset trailing arms in there, so I have to measure for wheels and tires, but everything looks really good on the rear suspension. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And lately I've been working on the hood because it's really nice outside. So since it's so hot outside, I decided to do some fiberglass work. So I got a Mopar Hemi hood scoop that I've been cutting up to convert to a Corvette Grand Sport hood scoop because I really couldn't find any readily available Corvette Grand Sport hoods um, that were affordable. So this was, I think, 120 bucks on eBay. So I put a pie cut in it. I'm laying down the sides. I have a lot more work to do to this thing, but this is just an early look. It's coming a long way from the fiberglass template or the cardboard template. Just needs a lot of fiberglassing and filling and 
it'll be nice. I still have to do another round of fiberglass up here to fill this little bit of a crater. I still have the piece of steel back here as my backer. But this is coming along, so I'm hoping to have the scoop mostly roughed in by the end of the week. And hopefully this firewall comes in, comes in soon. I'm still waiting on that guy. But overall, this is coming together. I'm hoping by the end of the month to have this portion of the cab ready to go. And then I'll just have to work on fitting the rear clip to it. And then we'll work on the roof to this. So June 4th is the day I want to have the firewall back done. Then we can focus our attention on the front, getting the front end to fit properly. And then I'll put the real engine, which is sitting over there. I'll do a video on that coming up. This thing's a ripper. Put the real engine in here, get everything plumbed up. And right before I glue the front end on, or I'll glue the front end on once everything mechanically is done up here. That way it's just easy to get access. So if you're going to be attending the Hot Rod Power Tour, be sure to leave a comment down below. I'd love to meet uh, a bunch of people on the Hot Rod Power Tour. I've talked to a bunch of friends and family locally who have cars or interested in cars to see if they'd be willing to go on the Hot Rod Power Tour at least for a couple days. I think it'd be cool to put a group of people together to travel from destination to destination with. It'd be a lot of fun. I mean, I'm sure you meet a lot of people, but the more people you have in a group, probably the more fun it is. So I'm hoping to get a uh, group together. So we'll see about that. So let me know if you're attending. I'd love to meet you guys out there. It'd be, I think it'd be a really good time. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm making videos every Wednesday and Friday. Well, definitely Friday, probably most Wednesdays. We'll see. Um, but be sure to check those out. I got a lot of work to do, so I'll catch you guys later.